Okay, first time document signing with DocuSign, no problem. So you can actually log on or sorry, sign the document on your phone, on a computer. I'm first just going to show you on a computer. Let's say you log on to Yahoo Mail. I'm using a browser version. It, it looks slightly different uh, if you're using Outlook or Mac Mail or Gmail, but I'm just going to show you if you're using a computer. So I open this up. You want to read the document, okay? <laughs> you never want to sign something you don't really understand. Sometimes the agents have uh, completed information up here, like a logo. They might have text here that tells you a little bit more information. But basically what you want to do is review the document and then sign it. So you want to read the document and then sign it. This one actually says, please review the documents below, hit continue. And then obviously you want to read it. Now how this works is the yellow spots are where you're going to initial. So you scroll down and you read everything. Okay, this is a fake document obviously and the spots aren't necessarily in the right spot. It's just showing you how to use this. Okay, so if you hit start, it would go to the very first spot you need to sign. So you read everything, you hit start. And then I initial here, I would tap here and tap here. Now I want to show you how it looks a little bit different on a, obviously on a phone because it's a smaller device. So, okay. So now I'm on a iPhone, an iPhone, but it doesn't matter. Whatever phone you have, you would go to the application where you look at your email. This is a Yahoo account. And so it looks similar. It's the same one. It's just on a smaller device. So if I tap review document, it is going to say, okay, it's very similar using cookies. You can say, okay, that's fine. And then just say continue. Now there is an option for mobile friendly. I actually don't like that to be turned on because the, the uh, contract ends up looking really weird. So if this is on, on is blue, I would turn it off. Okay. And it actually says you've opted out. Is that right? And I'd say, yes, don't show me this again. Now, is it harder to read? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So maybe to read it, you want to do mobile friendly, but to sign it, I wouldn't. So basically you'd look through it and here we are and you can just tap on here. Now, the very first time I am using this, I, the program says, well, I need to know what your initials are. So this is for George Jetson. So Oh, that's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Jetson, adopt and sign. That one said, draw your initials. So from now on, I just tap. I've read this. I just tap, 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 tap. And here's my signature. Now I have to sign one time. Then it will remember you or it should remember you for next time. So George, oh my goodness. And honestly, if you muck up, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in most places now, you have to ask your agent, but generally speaking, it doesn't matter. It's tracking your computer, your IP address, and other things that you don't really care about in the background, okay? So then you just say adopt and sign, and now that will be your uh, signature forevermore. You must hit finish, okay? You have to hit finish or the document will not be completed. Now, one of the things also about this is that if this is one person, then the document's done. If it's two people, depending on how your agent has set it up, it might be that you have to sign it first and then the other person will do it. Most of the time, it's your other person that's doing the transaction will get the email at the same time and you guys both sign it. And when you both sign it, then I'm going to go back into the web version. I'm going to open this up. When, once you both sign it, it'll say completed. When I open this up and I scroll all the way down here, now is the completed document and I can open it up and look at it, okay? So hopefully that helps you. Again, over to the right, different email viewers will open it up different ways. But here you see, here's George Jetson's signatures or initials. And then when we scroll down to the bottom, there's the actual signature. So this is now a completed document and you are now all well versed in how document signing works.